Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss about the topic is speed, velocity and acceleration. Speed, velocity and acceleration. Okay. First you are going to study speed. What is speed? Speed is the rate of change of distance. Rate of change of distance or distance travel in unit time okay so one second the object travel it is called speed one second the object travel is called speed okay it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity because it's having only magnitude it's having only magnitude okay so speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken okay so sa unit of distance is meter sa unit of time is second so meter per second so how did you write meter second power minus one so sa unit of speed is meter second power minus one okay listen speed is equal to distance traveled by time taken okay what is distance you are studying in the previous class the actual length of the path traveled by a moving body is called distance okay so distance traveled by time taken so meter per second so what's the unit meter second power minus one do you understand clearly next you are going to study the velocity what is velocity velocity is the rate of change of displacement rate of change of displacement is called velocity okay here rate of change of displacement or displacement covered unit time displacement covered unit time speed with the direction is called velocity okay so it is a vector quantity it's having both magnitude and direction so it is a vector quantity okay so velocity velocity is the speed with the direction velocity is the speed with the direction you are understand clearly but speed is the magnitude of the velocity speed is the magnitude of the velocity so what's the formula velocity is equal to displacement by time taken okay now here listen what is displacement you are studying in the previous class what is displacement the change in position of the moving body in the particular direction is called displacement okay so what is the si unit of the displacement meter what is the si unit of time second so meter second power minus 1 okay so si unit of velocity is equal to meter second power minus 1 now you are understand clearly si unit of speed and si unit of velocity is meter second power minus 1 okay do you understand clearly we are going to study acceleration what is called acceleration acceleration is the rate of change of velocity in unit time is called acceleration rate of change of velocity in unit time is called acceleration okay it is a vector quantity why it is called the vector quantity it's having both magnitude and direction okay si unit of acceleration is meter second power minus 2 meter second power minus 2 okay what's the formula acceleration is equal to change in velocity by time change in velocity by time okay so change in velocity final velocity minus initial velocity by time okay final velocity minus initial velocity by time so the final velocity you are mentioned with v hmm? the initial velocity you are mentioned with u so Final velocity V, initial velocity U. So, V minus U by T. So, A is equal to V minus U by T. Here is A is acceleration, V is the final velocity and U is the initial velocity. Here is A. Acceleration is equal to velocity by time. 
What's the SI unit of velocity? Meter second power minus 1. So, how do you write? Velocity by time. So, meter second power minus 1 divided by what's the SI unit of time is second. So, how do you write? Meter second power minus 1. So, here's, here also second. So, second power minus also answer meter second power minus 2. Okay. Listen. You are considered one object moves in a straight line without reverse direction okay without reverse direction so at the time the final velocity greater than initial velocity so final velocity greater than initial velocity so v greater than u so the velocity increases with the time at the time the acceleration is positive okay if final velocity less than u the acceleration is negative it is called negative acceleration or it is otherwise called retardation or deceleration okay so the velocity decreases with the time is called negative acceleration velocity decreases with the time is called negative acceleration okay you are going to study very important topic graphical representation of motion along a straight line okay first one the distance time graph for uniform motion uniform motion what is called the uniform motion it covers equal distance in equal interval of time understand clearly equal distance in equal interval of time okay now you consider one person walk with different time. Okay, walk with different time. Initially, the person is at rest. So at the time the time is zero, the distance also zero. Next, five minutes, he covered 500 meter. Next, 10 minutes, he covered 1000 meter. Next, 50 minutes, he covered 1500 meter next 20 minutes he covered 2000 meter next 25 minutes he covered 2500 meter okay now you draw one graph so time is taken along x axis and distance is taken along y axis okay distance is taken along y axis here, first you write the scale, x axis 1 cm is equal to 5 minutes, y axis 1 cm is equal to 500 meter, 500 meter, okay. So, first one, time is 0 and distance also 0. Next, time is 5 minutes and distance is 500, you mark the point. Next, Time is 10 minutes and distance is 1000 meter. Next, time is 15 minutes. The distance is 1500. Next, time is 20 minutes. The distance is 2000 meter. Okay. Next, time is 25 minutes and distance covered 2000 meter. 500. Now you join the line from the graph. We understand the graph is a straight line. Okay. Now what do you understand? A person moving uniform motion. Okay. Here speed is constant. Yep. So finally what do you understand? A person walked at constant speed. A person walked at constant speed. Okay. Now you consider any two points. Slope is equal to y axis divided by x axis. So y axis divided by x axis. Here you are taking any two points. So here listen y axis BC. So y axis is equal to BC. X axis, here listen, AC. 
So BC divided by EC equal to distance travelled D2 minus D1. So 2500 minus 2000 divided by T2 time interval. T2 minus T1. So 25 minus 20 equal to 500 divided by 5. So the slope of the straight line is 500 divided by 5. This is the formula. Speed is equal to distance covered by time taken. Okay. Distance covered by time taken is equal to slope of the straight line. So slope of the straight line is 500 divided by 5. BC divided by AC. BC divided by AC. Value is 500 divided by 5. So what's the value? How did you simplify? 100. So 100 meter divided by minute. Next you are going to study the comparison of speed. Okay. Comparison of speed. So next we have considered three different people. Hmm? Here the distance is taking along the y axis and time is taking along the x axis. Okay. So this is a riding in a car. Next this is cycling and this is walking. Finally what do you understand? The cycling is faster than walking and riding in a car is Faster than cycling. Yes. What do you understand? The speed is constant. It is unaccelerated motion. Okay. Now you are going to study the distance time graph for non-uniform motion. Okay. Now you consider one car is moving with a different distance. Okay. Initially the car is at rest. The car is at rest. Here listen. So time is 0. The distance also 0. Okay. Next 2 second. The car covered the distance is 1 meter. Next the 4 second. The car covered the distance is 4 meter. Next here listen. 6 second. The car covered the distance is 9 meter. So you are understand clearly I think. Okay. Now you draw the graph. Here you are listen, time is taken along the x-axis. Okay, here the distance is taken along the y-axis. Here the distance you are mentioned the multiple of 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, here time is mentioned 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, you mark the graph. First one. Time is 0 second and distance also 0 meter. Okay. So, 0, 0. Next one. Time is 2 second and distance is 1 meter. Time is 2 second and distance is 1. Here, time is 4 second and distance also 4. Time is 4 second and distance also 4 meter. Next one. Time is 6 second and distance also 9, 9 meter. Time is 6 second and distance also 9 meter. Next one. Time is 8 second and distance also 16 meter. Time is 8 second and distance is 18, sorry 16. Next Time is 10 second and distance is 25. Time is 10 second. Distance is 25. You mark it here. Next. Time is 12 second and distance is 36 meter. Time is 12 second and distance is 36 meter. Okay. Now you join the line. Okay. Here, what do you understand? The graph is not a straight line. The graph is not a straight line. So it is a non-uniform motion. So what is non-uniform motion? It travels unequal distance in equal interval of time. Okay. Do you understand clearly? Now you are going to study the solved problems. Okay. First one. 
an object travels 16 meter in 4 second and then another 16 meter in 2 second here 16 meter in 4 second here 16 meter in 2 second what is the average speed what is the average speed of the object so now you write the solution first one total distance traveled by the object so total distance you are mentioned here 16 meter and here also 16 meter so now you write 16 meter plus 16 meter equal to 32 meter next one total time taken total time taken so here 4 second here 2 second so now you write 4 second plus 2 second equal to 6 second so average speed is equal to formula total distance traveled by total time taken once again average speed is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken so to total distance traveled the value is 32 meter 32 meter divided by total time taken total time taken 6 second so 6 second now you divide the value 32 6 second so 5 6 or 30 now you write 20 so 3 6 or 18 so subtract 2 0 3 6 or 18 so what's the value 5.33 meter per second. So how did you write? 5.33 meter second power minus 1. Therefore the average speed of the object is 5.33 meter second power minus 1. Okay. Problem number 2. Yeah. Sound is here. 5 seconds later than lightning is seen in the sky on a rainy day. Find the distance of location of lightning. Give the speed of sound. 346 meter per second. Okay. Now you write the solution. So what's the formula? Speed is equal to distance by time. Speed is equal to distance by time. So time distance is equal to speed multiply time okay distance is equal to speed multiplied time so here listen what is the speed speed of sound is, is equal to 346 so 346 multiply time is 5 second so 5 equal to 346 multiply 5 equal to 1700 and 30 meter. So the distance of location of lightning is 1730 meter. Okay. Thank you students. Today class is over.